Hey gang. Well, the trial of the decade, century, millennium, I don't know what you want to call it because let's face it, all these big celebrity trials get called something and and, and these uh, titles of these things have been used over and over and over and over and over again. And to tell you the truth, I, I, I kind of wonder why they always recycle this whole trial of the something titles for things like this. But the Johnny Depp Amber Heard court case is over, done with. And all I can say is, thank God it's over. Because honestly, I get so sick and tired of these celebrity court cases always just taking up everything. You know? It's like everywhere you look, whenever there's a celebrity on trial, it's always clogging up your news feed like a, like, a, like a bunch of hair in a drain, you know? I get so sick and tired of all this nonsense of, you know, such and such celebrities on trial for whatever, and it's like we're supposed to be obsessed with it. Folks, I don't care, okay? I, I really don't care. I, I don't know why we get so wrapped up in celebrity court cases, we all have our own lives to deal with. We all have our own things to take care of. But yet, for some reason, we're supposed to be enthralled in these people's situations as if to say, well, what else, what else, do, I have, what else do I have to do? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. The first big celebrity court case that I remember watching for a little while until eventually I started to realize my, my parents... And my brother did too, all started to realize this is all going to just go downhill. The guy's going to get set free and everything's going to be all right. And, you know, all this it was the OJ Simpson case. I mean, I remember watching the live footage of that white Bronco, you know, going, trying to, trying to evade the cops and everything like that. It was crazy. And we, we tried to keep track of it for you know, about a week. And then we just started to realize, yeah, they're going to let him free. Yeah, there, there's no way there's, there's no way he's going to put him in jail for the rest of his life or prison. And it just seems like ever since then, there have been, I mean, there's been celebrity court cases before that, and most of them had to do with kids committing suicide over heavy metal lyrics. Um, but yeah, to, to, to be honest with you, I just, I just don't care about celebrity court cases. I mean, you know, I have my own life to deal with. Why do we even care? Why do we... Uh, why do we wrap ourselves around these celebrities who are going to court and then we find out that, you know, these people we are told to idolize and respect and love and, and live by and everything like that might be into some weird, disgusting stuff. Well, what does it matter? I mean, why are we supposed to be so surprised that that somebody like, you know, that, well, really, I mean, think of any celebrity you'd find out that, you know, that, that they did a terrible, terrible thing to their girlfriend, their wife, or co-worker, or anything like that. And we're supposed to sit here and kind of go like, what? No, not so-and-so. And then some people will sit there and go, childhood ruined. It's like, come on, grow up. You know, Pee Wee Herman, Bill Cosby, Hulk Hogan, Johnny Depp, Robert Blake, O.J. Simpson, you know, all of them. You know, we all find out in the end they're not perfect people, but, but yet we are supposed to admire these people and respect these people and love them and idolize them. And I go, why? I'm just not into that kind of thing anymore. You know, like, I just don't care. You know, when, when a celebrity goes on trial, I just go, huh? Uh, probably about 80% chance they're going to get let free. And they do. You know. Very rarely do you see a celebrity have to actually go to prison. Very rarely. But nine times out of ten, these celebrities, they, they, have, they have the money to just... Well, I mean, the other thing is they'll always, they'll always sit there and say stuff like, you know, it's obvious they bought off the judge, the jury, the other lawyer, and everything like that. And it's like, uh, well, if they did, they did, you know. I mean, it's kind of like when people bet on a bet on the Super Bowl, the World Series, or anything like that. 
And they said, they say they bought off the referees. They bought off everybody to, to win the game. It's like, look, folks, it's just something that happens. You know, when you're a celebrity, you can do whatever you want to and pretty much get away with murder, sometimes literally. So when it comes to celebrity trials, I just don't care. I'm tired of them taking up my feed on on Facebook, on here on YouTube, everything like that. I just basically just put I just basically basically click on that little thing where it says not interested because I'm not. I don't care what celebrity is on trial doing something stupid and them them they're exposed for being the imperfect, disgusting, gross human beings they are cuz I don't really care. So as far as a celebrity trial goes, not interested. You know, don't don't uh Excuse me. Don't don't try to get me all enthralled in it, and you know because because it's it's pretty much like trying to tell me about a about a sequel to a movie I haven't seen, or several more sequels in a, in a movie franchise that I have not seen or I've watched a couple of and then I didn't care about. You know, it's like I don't care, folks. I really don't care. You know, don't come to me and tell me all about the celebrity court case nonsense because I don't care. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, what, is, what does it matter? I mean, if it was a friend or a family member on trial, yes, I, I'm, I'm interested because I know these people. But celebrities, they don't know us. They don't know the common people. They can sit there and say all they want to, but we love our fans. Yeah, but you're not going to go to their house and hang out with them for a day. You're too good for that. You're off making movies and making billions and billions of dollars. Well, while most people, while the common people have to go to the theater or try and stream it on their whatever platform they have and spend money for two hours watching what could be a good movie or what could be a crappy movie. Ultimately, in the end, I just want to say this much. I find it kind of funny how, how Johnny Depp was awarded like, what was it, $20 million or something like that? But Amber winds up getting like, what, $6 million. And I thought to myself, well, at first I thought, well, that was really nice. They gave her some money. But then I thought, when you think about it, most of that money is going to have to go to court costs, lawyer's fees, and God only knows what else. She may be lucky if she winds up with maybe about around five to six figures when it's all over with for herself. And you pretty much know this woman's Hollywood career is over with. She's probably going to have to wind up working at a Burger King or a grocery store or something like that. So, Yeah. She's never going to work in Hollywood ever again because she accused one of the top dogs. Sorry, I keep doing this a lot. Sorry about that. But she accused a big name actor of doing something wrong, and she was wrong. Oh, no. It's happened before, folks. But it, but again, it was really nice that they, they gave her something for her trouble and everything like that. But come on. Celebrity court cases, I'm, I'm bored of them. I don't care. Seen too many of them, and just I was like, meh. I don't care how it ends. You know, it's it's pretty much how I feel about a lot of these movies that go on for way too long that have multiple sequels in their franchises. After a while, I'm like, I don't care how it ends. I don't care if they wipe out the dinosaurs. I don't care if the dinosaurs eat all the people on the island. I don't care. I don't care if Vin Diesel drives his car off a cliff, or the rest of them do. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Because I'm bored and I don't care. So when it comes to celebrity celebrity court cases, oh, that's how I feel. Don't care, bored by it. You know, let's let's stop being obsessed with these celebrities and what they're doing and live our own lives. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about it. Anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here, gang. How do you feel about celebrity court cases? And how do you feel about celebrities? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. Hope you're having an awesome day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. Let's stop trying to destroy the world. Let's help others who really, really need it right now. Let's keep praying this virus or whatever other crappy, stupid stuff that the government and the media wants to throw at us keeps keeps doing it like, like they're monkeys throwing feces is going to stop very, very soon. And whether or not you believe in God, he believes in you. And... Uh, if you would have a fellow YouTuber reach 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 or 100,000 subscribers, I'm still trying to get to 500 myself. And with you guys' help, it'll happen very, very soon. And any goals you want to try to achieve in life, hope you get there and get there real, real soon. But as long as it's legal and nobody gets hurt, especially yourself, always remember you are here for a reason. But if you weren't here, you would be missed. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good yourself. Try to be good to others. Till we do this again, as always, stay strong.